What good is fame or fortune if it costs us the things we love? Daedalus was the greatest inventor of the ancient world. But his hunger for glory ruled his heart. And for that, he would pay a terrible price. To strive for great heights is noble. But when our successes become more important than doing what is right, we are headed for a fall. Come down, my son. You're flying too high. Icarus admired his father and wanted to be just like him. I can fly higher than the birds, higher than the sun, higher even than the gods. <laughs> Icarus, come back! Daedalus was born in Athens, and even as a young boy, his imaginative mind was filled with wondrous inventions. Hey, Daedalus, what are you inventing this time? A staircase to Mount Olympus? None of your business. What kind of boat is this? It has no oars. It's not supposed to have any. Boats without oars? <laughs> That's a lie. <laughs> Oh, you can laugh now, but one day my ships will travel the seven seas, and I'll be famous! You'll see! There has to be a way to make ships go faster without all the hard work of rowing. <gasps> Who are you? I am Athena, Athena goddess, goddess of wisdom. wisdom. Athena? Did I do something to offend you? <laughs> Oh, no, young Daedalus, you please me. Your talent has caught my eye. You have great potential. Potential? Maybe. But that's not enough. I just can't seem to make my ideas work. Look around you, young Daedalus. The gods have given you clues. The fish that swim, the birds that fly, the leaves that float in the wind. Fashion your genius around the world you see. And you shall be the greatest inventor mortal man has ever known. Yes! Now I know how to make my ships travel without oars! <laughs> now I'll show them all! My inventions will change the world! And everyone will know my name! A man who hears only praise becomes deaf. A man who seeks fame and fortune for himself alone becomes blind. Remember these words, young Daedalus. Yes, Athena. I'll remember. Many years passed, and soon Daedalus' great fleet of sailing ships filled the harbor of Athens. You have worked a miracle, Daedalus. With your sailing ships, we can at last defend our land from the ruthless attacks of King Minos. Oh, my work is not done yet. When the sails are silent, then your men must be able to row, like the wind itself. <sighs> row, young Icarus, row! You have to develop your muscles as well as your mind. Yes, Father. Your sliding bench is amazing, Master. We get ten times the power of each stroke. I could row from here to Italy without a rest. With your help, my dear apprentice, soon we will fit a full-size ship and test my invention for all to see. Master, look! Monitor is also working on sliding benches. I fear he will finish his before you. His invention, indeed. Monitor is a fraud. He must have stolen my plans. There's no one else who can equal my genius. Athena will attest to that. I cannot allow him to beat me, Talos. I must be first. I must get the credit I am due. You understand? Yes, Master, I understand. He will not beat you. Hurry! More water! Before it's too late! All is lost. You burned Onator's rowing benches. Are you mad? This is not what I wanted. But, but Master, I only thought it would please you. 
Daedalus had forgotten Athena's good advice and became ruled by his own burning ambition, an ambition that was about to take a great toll on those he loved most. He had turned Athens into a thriving city with his marvelous inventions, and the people loved and honored Daedalus for his works. We are pleased that the great Daedalus has opened his new museum to the citizens of Athens. Thank you, my people. I am pleased to have built you this magnificent hall designed to house all my great works so that they will live on through the ages. That's my father. He's the greatest inventor in the world. He's a braggart. He's a cheat. You dare insult my father? I say what I believe. My father's career was ruined when your father sabotaged his invention. That's a lie. Take it back! I will not take back what is true! Then I will make you! No! I have harnessed the winds, conquered the sea. Perhaps one day I will conquer the skies! You have built this museum not for the people of Athens, Daedalus, but for yourself. You have become blinded by your own ambition. It's time you realize just how easy your world can come crashing down on you. Uh, 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 oh! What is this? What's going on? Oh! The gods are angry! Your father is to blame! How can this be? Look out, master! regret this, Daedalus, but justice must be served. But I did not kill Talos! I have no power over the gods! You have brought their wrath upon our city. That is reason enough. Why have you done this to me, Athena? Why? Father, can you hear me? Daedalus was still too blind to see that the answer did not lie with the gods, but within his own selfish heart. Icarus, how can the people turn against me like this? We make their ships, their swords for fighting, we make soldiers and we make kings. They are nothing without us. You are right, father. Let's escape to a new land, where we will again be honored for our talent. The great inventor and his son had taken refuge on the island of Crete, where the fierce and cruel King Minos ruled. Oh, it's splendid, your highness. Nothing in Athens could ever match this. You see, father? I told you we would find someone who appreciates our talents. You won't regret this, your highness. I have so many ideas that I can offer the great city of Crete. Have a look at these. With my ox-drawn plow, you can grow ten times the wheat, and my wind-powered grain mill will grind the wheat into flour. Yes, yes, very ingenious. But I have something far more challenging for a mind like yours, Daedalus. Weapons. Uh, weapons? There are those who grow jealous of my rule, who have become my enemies. But Athens is not your enemy. She only defends herself from attack. And what has Athens done for you lately, my dear Daedalus? Made you a prisoner and an outcast, while I bring you fame and glory and wealth. King Minos is right, father. Crete is our home now. We owe nothing to anyone but ourselves. You are wise, young Icarus. But do not fear, Daedalus, for I too want peace. Your weapons will be used only to protect my kingdom. <laughs> I shall begin at once. Soon after, representatives of Athens were invited to Crete to negotiate peace. I don't trust this peace offering. King Minos is a ruthless tyrant. He knows only war. We are well armed. If it is a trick, Minos will regret it.
weapons were only to be used to protect you. Yes. Well, I feel very safe. Now, very safe indeed. <laughs> As I suspected, a trap. We've been betrayed. By the gods. What is it? Trim the sails. Man the oars. Reverse course. <laughs> Only Daedalus could have created a weapon this terrible. Everything is going so well now, Father. We have all we need here. Fame, fortune, uh, friends. <laughs> you rival the gods, Daedalus. The entire Athenian fleet is destroyed. We have taken many prisoners. Now we need a place to put them. I want you to build me a prison from which no one can possibly escape. <laughs> Except for my father and me, of course. But you are not grateful for my support? For all I have given you when you had nothing? Uh, of course we are, Your Highness. Aren't we, Father? Yes, of course. I call it the Labyrinth. It's an inescapable maze. No one who enters can possibly find their way out again. Except for my father and me, of course. Of course. What was that? I have never heard anything like it. That is the Minotaur. A monster, half human and half bull, that now makes its home in your labyrinth. But why, your highness? This monster is not necessary. Ah, but it is. As part of a tribute for their defeat in war, every year Athens will sacrifice seven daughters and seven sons to the man-eating beast. It will be a lesson to all who would consider attacking Crete. I beg you, your highness, stop these cruel sacrifices. Athens has suffered enough. I remind you, Daedalus, that you build the weapons and I decide how they are to be used. I cannot build them anymore. I long to return to making things that are good for all people. I understand. I will give you exactly what you desire. Plenty of peace and quiet and time to create anything your heart desires. In the labyrinth. <gasps> <laughs> Worried that Daedalus would give away the secret for escaping the labyrinth, King Minos imprisoned both the inventor and his son. This is an outrage! We built this prison for Minos, and this is what we get in return? It is not Minos who is to blame. I am at fault, Icarus. I have worked for a tyrant, building weapons of war used to destroy my own people. My desire for fame and glory has kept me from seeing that this was wrong. I brought all this upon myself and upon you, my son. No, I don't accept it. You've always said we make soldiers and we make kings. They are nothing without us. I will find a way out of the labyrinth. No! The Minotaur will find you first. We cannot escape. We must accept our fate. <gasps> Athena, help me. I beg of you. Athena, forgive me. I was wrong to ignore your advice. If you help us escape, I will never desert you again. Your selfish ambition got you into this, Daedalus. You are on your own now. Please, Athena. Not for me. For Icarus. Yes, Icarus. He has become too much like his father. But perhaps it is not too late for him. As for these walls, just do what you have always done, Daedalus. The means of escape is all around. Can this be true? <gasps> Icarus. 
Icarus! What is it, Father? I have a plan! We can escape after all! But how? Even if we could climb down from the cliff, Minos has his ships guarding the harbor. You are right, son. We cannot escape by land or sea, so we will escape. <laughs> by air! Together, father and son worked many months on their plan of escape. Remember, Icarus, don't touch them until the wax is dry. And finally, their task was complete. Now we will fly. Fly like the gods, Father, and everyone will know our names. Icarus, do not boast like that. That is what brought us to this terrible place. Uh, yes, Father. All right. Now remember, don't fly too high. <laughs> this is fantastic! Look out, seabirds! I am king of the skies now! Come down, Icarus! You're flying too high! <laughs> bond stronger. I fear for your safety, Icarus. And yet, if we do not take wing, we are trapped here forever. I must risk it. We must gain our freedom now. This time we must not fail, Icarus. Now listen carefully. If you fly too low, the dampness of the sea will cause the feathers to become moist and heavy. And if you fly too high, the sun may cause the wax to melt. Father, you worry too much. We've conquered everything else. How hard can it be to conquer the skies? Ugh. Icarus! Ah! <laughs> <sighs> Alert, King Minos! Daedalus is escaping! Daedalus and his son have just escaped the labyrinth! Impossible! The Minotaur guards the maze, and my soldiers prevent escape by land and sea! They have wings, your highness. They're making their escape by air. How clever you are, Daedalus. Shoot them out of the sky. Look! There they are! Ready, fire! Father, look out! Ah! We must fly higher! We can fly! Maybe we are like the gods! <laughs> no, Icarus, don't fill your head with such things! We must go back down now, toward the water! Yes! That's what makes a god! They can fly! All the way up to Mount Olympus! Come, Father! Fly higher with me and you'll see! Woo! Icarus, no! <laughs> Come back! I can fly even higher than Mount Olympus! No! All the way to the sun! Come back! I can't see which way I'm going! Icarus! The wax! It's melting! Oh! Oh! Help! Father! Help me! Icarus! Where are you? Icarus, my son! I have lost you! Years passed, and an older and wiser Daedalus lived out his life only creating inventions that would benefit his fellow citizens. And of course, dreamed of things to come. Though Daedalus had regained his honor, one thing was still missing. If only I could see Icarus again. You have done much good in your final years, Daedalus. I will grant you this last wish. <gasps> Go, Daedalus. Join your son. Ha 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 ha!